No, I'm not. It's Rafael Moura again. And it's not because I'm brown that I can consider myself to be the Dark Knight. All right, so let's go back to the how-tos at Blueback. And on this movie, we're going to show you how to use the upscale OQC functionality. First thing is, why should we use the upscale OQC? So the idea of this functionality is so low to QC of log upscaling in Petrol and 3D grid properties along the well trajectory. The exact thickness calculations from logs and 3D grid properties has not been possible in standard Petrol, but with this toolbox functionality, the calculation and the QC is easy and results and comparisons per well, per zone and total is easily generated. So let's have a look on the workflow. The first step is to launch your toolbox, so you can try to find, you, you should find this icon on your patrol, which is the blue back home. By clicking on it, it's going to launch all the tools available for you on the blue back, the plugins you started patrol with. So on the first line, if that's a filter, let's search for our functionality, it's called upscale, upscale, you can see it already. So the upscale lock you see, it's under the geology toolbox. One of the first steps for this workflow is let's select the wells that you would like to QC against your model. So for example, I can expand here the B wells and I want to select both of them. So that's okay. The next one is to add the well tops. The well top names and 3D horizon names must be exactly the same for this tool to calculate correctly. Then we need to select the reservoir flag. The reservoir flag log is required and is used as a reference log for thickness calculation. The other log inputs will only be uh, evaluated at the flag depth. So we do have a reservoir flag created already. And now for the logs, let's input each of these parameters. So we start with porosity, I can pick my porosity, then water saturation, I can use my filter here, water saturation, permeability, select permeability, then the log zone mapping is the method that we're going to use to calculate. Now we're going to move to the 3D grid, select the 3D grid, in our case we're going to use the geo grid, same. Find the find the properties you're looking to grid. So net to gross. I come here to properties. Net to gross. Select porosity. Do the same properties. Porosity. Same with the water saturation. Water saturation and the permeability. Properties. Permeability. You can also add a free water level. So for the free water level, uh, it's a support, uh, support um, this workflow, a grid contact can be provided as a lower limit to the calculation. So let's just keep it like this. I'll run the process. The output is a table. So if we expand this table now, what you see is the result for all the wells selected. I probably had more wells selected before. And if I go to the, 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 the top table, it's concerned to the log sums and average, then comes the tables concerned to the model, then the delta absolutes between the two of them, and in the bottom part is the percentage. So if I now sort by permeability, for example, all of them, just by clicking on the column, it's going to sort the data. And if I go, if I jump straight into the delta percentage, what I see is that between the log and my model, if there is 100 negative, they are exactly the same, so shouldn't be a problem. And where I see big jumps, for example, I have 6% difference between, sorry, 3.4% difference between the top NAS, uh, that's the difference between my log and what's the model in the grid. And the same with the porosity and so on. So that's how this tool works. If you have more doubts, please contact us on our support channel or at sales at blueback reservoir.com. Thank you. Goodbye.